Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Monster Legends. This is one of my favorite times in the game. It is when there is an experience boost on leveling up your relics. In my personal opinion, you should only ever level up your relics when there is an experience boost. If there is no experience boost, then just go ahead and wait. So there's no rush to do it, okay? So go ahead. And um, with that being said, during this time, again, you get a 20% experience boost, which means you get to save one-fifth the cost because of that 20% boost. So what I want to do, I'm going to start off by opening up a diamond relic. So let's go to chest and let's scroll to the right. And there's that diamond relic. We're also going to open up all of my bronze, all of my silver. This is the time when you go ahead and open up all of your chests because you want to see what you can get. So of course we'll start with the bronze. And if you guys have seen my videos, you know I have this weird superstition about only opening like on a on a multiple of, of five. So I need at least five chests or, you know, has to end with a zero. Oh, what the heck did I mess up? Oh man, I messed up 106. Uh, that just makes me cringe. Why does this 8 times 106? This is 8 times 105 or 100. <laughs> so I messed up, but let's see what I get. Opening up all of these relics. So, um, the reason I have so many silver relics, if you noticed, I had like 60 something chests, is because we just had the Mr. Beast, um, relic, uh, progressive island kind of thing. And I was able to go up, up until the point where I got my 40... Um, silver relic chest so hopefully i pulled something good out of there that did cost around 100 gems to do normally whenever you have one of those relic um one of those relic progressive islands you can spend around 66 gems and you should be able to get the 40 relic chest so so you guys know ahead of time and of course i also got the mr beast um what is it avatar and the 50 cells all right with that being said it doesn't seem like i got anything good i don't think i saw any golds so no golds, a good amount of silvers though, so honestly, I don't, the, the cool thing I like about relics is that it doesn't really matter what you get, whether you get a good relic or a bad relic, every relic in my eyes is good, because if it's bad, it becomes fusion material. So I got a good amount of silvers, um, let's go ahead and open up the silver ones now, I have 68, so we're gonna open up to 65, and then we will open all. So there's one, see that's what happens when I don't open up on a multiple of five, there's two, and then this is going to be 66 and open all. All right, let's see what I get here. All right, just come on. Give me a gold. Give me a diamond. Give me fusion material, please. All right, soul banner, soul shattering sword. This kind of makes me, if I get a, if I get a diamond, then the 66, why, no, I spent like 100 gems. The 100 gems would definitely be worth it. So let's see. So far, a bunch of silvers, bunch of silvers, not even a gold. Where are my good relics? Uh, major vitality essence is about to end. I got like one or two more. All silvers. Great enraged mass. Oblation trap. All right. Well, at least I got a gold and a pretty good gold at that. I, there's another. I want to get one more oblation trap maxed out. Unless I get a Nabulance trap, then I can ditch the oblation trap. All right. Let's do these three gold. Which we'll is open up all of these one by one. All right. So. Oh yes, yes. I was actually thinking about crafting this, but I finally got one. After damaging with a skill, if Warrior's Life is below 50%, deals 3,435 points of special damage, that's alright. What matters more is that it removes stamina from the damaged enemies. Two uses. Yes, finally, I have been waiting for this. I have been waiting for this. I was sincerely thinking about crafting it this time around. Wow. Finally. Alright, I'm super, I'm super ecstatic right now. That's, that's awesome. Great healing essence. Alright, it's gonna be a good video. It's going to be an awesome video. Fury mask, who cares? Alright, let's also open up that diamond relic chest and let's see what I pull from there. Alright, has to be a diamond, right? A uh, Morg's armor, cool. So, I found that um, now that we have mythics, the Morg's armor really helps my, my War Master Ragnarok stay alive. So, you know, I do like this one more and more. Um, I already have one fully maxed out, so I don't know if I need to necessarily max this out. This is an exclusive armor, armor by the way, so I'm, I'm actually pretty happy that I got a second one. Although, there's a lot of times that I prefer to use Nabotus' armor. Alright, we also want to do a little, something a little special. And open and purchase some Team Shop ones. So, I really like these Relic category chests. I don't care for the diamonds um, as much. Um, what do I need, though? That is the question. I don't have Laser Beam Swords, so maybe the swords would be good. Um, banners, let's see. I have Darmit's Banner. I think I have... I don't have Talika's Banner, but I don't really care for that one. Nabuline's Trap would be really great. That is probably, this is the relic I'm missing that could take me to a more competitive edge. I have two revival essences now because I crafted another one. Um, let's just go ahead and open up. Uh, let's go for that Nabuline's Trap. We're going to open up three and let's see what I pull. 
Oh, Mantis Claw Trap, Diamond. Nice. So I tell this to people all the time. Um, I personally think that the Relic Category chests are such a better value, much more better value. Here's Nebula, here's Mantis Claw Trap. Um, I think it's a better value than the other Relics, than just purchasing a Diamond. Because I feel like if you purchase at least three, you're gonna pull a diamond in one of those like those aren't guaranteed odds or anything but from my experience it, it, it seems like every three that you purchase um you get a diamond so i also have this other superstition that once i open something up and i get a diamond i stop so uh, we're actually gonna stop with the relic category chest but give it give it a try if you haven't or you know what if you have purchased relic category chests in the past uh comment below and let me know if you pulled anything and how many you purchased so we'll actually stop there i got a mantis cloud trap so that is two diamonds from non-diamond chests, and then overall three diamonds in this video. Very nice. Um, let's go into the reliquary. So here's the thing: someone once asked me in a in a separate video, why don't I craft uh, relics during the EXP boost? And I told them that I don't think that you get any extra experience for crafting relics. So I actually want to verify that right now. So let's say I wanted to craft a. Um, oh wow, all of these are not craftable. Um, oh, diamond exclusive. Only missing. Let's say I wanted to craft Gakora stuff. And let's see, I get 10 points, which I believe to be the regular amount you would normally get. Um, I can go with diamonds, because I know diamonds would normally take four of this, so 6,000 points each. And yeah, you don't get any additional points for crafting. So if you were to craft a relic, you do not need to wait until the experience. You can craft whenever. I really do wish we would get extra points for crafting. Um, during the experience that would be nice because then I could actually justify crafting overall I'm not a fan of crafting. I don't think you should craft I think you should work with whatever you need to if there was one relic you would craft though 100% has to be the revival essence This is potentially a game a game breaking relic that you know could mean the difference between winning or losing the game You know especially if you have Wormlad and Grakon and you're using them against uh, Mythic bases you need them to have revival essence so even even more so now that we have Vastas who can do Pierce and we're probably going to get more Pierce Mythic Monsters in the future, you need to protect your monsters. And by protect, I mean if they die, they can come back to life. Especially Wormlad who can resurrect. So Revival Essence is the only relic I can... I'm comfortable with people crafting. But I mean, at the end of the day, craft whatever you need. Craft whatever you think will make you more competitive. But if you ask me, I'm only going to say only Revival Essence is worth it. The rest, you can go without. Like, again, I played the whole game without Shards or Amulet up until now. Um, for the longest time, I didn't have a decent armor, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, with that being said, now it's time to level up relics. Now the question becomes, what do I want to level up? Hmm. Man, now now it gets tough. All right, I also have this. I have this goal where I want to have one relic of each maxed out, but then I never want to invest in it. Like I'm like, when am I really gonna use this? And I'm thinking maybe such point one day we'll make some sort of event where I could actually use it and it'll be worth it. But realistically, like, I can tell myself it's not going to be worth it. But I don't know. It's just the idea of having one of everything maxed out uh, makes me feel good. You should also know that if you level up a relic... All right, look how many points I get. 576. This is thanks to the 20% 20 experience, 20 experience boost. Normally, it would be 460. If you level up with a relic that is exactly the same, you actually get double the experience. And that apparently is not the same... Um, let's see, where is the similar relic? Is it not, is it not this one? Details, when the turn starts, if warrior's life is below 50%, random ally, um, details again, increased by, what the heck, that looks exactly the same. Okay, it's probably this one, alright, check it out. 1,152, isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? So you always want to level up with similar relics, so, you know what, we're just gonna do it. We are gonna start our quest of getting one of everything maxed out in this video. So now I am going to go ahead and make sure to stop it so you can never use it as fusion material. And you know what? Now I'm bored and I don't want to do it. So I have this random level 9 relic. Ah, uh, no. I, I really do want to max everything out at least once. Um, but we'll do it in a separate video. Um, I got to focus on getting competitive in this video. So with my newfound relics, I think the Sherazard Amulet is one I need to definitely level up um, above anything else. So you can just click autofill and you see... Uh, the expensive cost and everything. I like to get my relics to at least level 20, but since this is going to be a more, uh, this is a more meta relic for sure, I'm just going to max it out. Oh yeah, look at all that. Ooh, the cost. I'm uh, actually level 35 for now. 16 million food, everyone. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is expensive. That is expensive. Remember, you can lock any relic you do not want to use away as fusion material. Like, I've been trying to level up Pestilence Traps. I should have probably saved the Pestilence Traps, but it's okay. 
So we're taking this to level 35. After damaging with the skill, Vorber's life is below 50%. It deals 10,000 points of special damage and removes 153 stamina points. That is nice. I wonder how much is at max. 180 points of stamina. 180 points. That could be the difference between uh, the enemy attacking me and not attacking me. Um, but aside from that, I also want to level up Pump, um, pump Seed Staff. Um, so let's get to it. Pump Seed Staff. And again, it would have cost a lot more had it not been an experience boost. So, um, so far so good. I'm, I'm giving up a bunch of uh, worthless amulets. Alright, let's see. Okay, cool. So this is my first gold that I have to give up. The Fury Mask. And then some other essences. And, ooh, we can probably take it to like level 30. Alright, supercharged amulets, kinetic amulets. Those are bad. And what is this? Like a delayer trap or something? What do, what do you do? There, trap. It is. Okay. I'm not a big fan of speed manipulation relics. Alright, so we'll give those up. And level 35. I gotta give up all these armors as well. The ice trap I don't care about. Um, oblation traps I do care about. So, um, let's keep those oblation traps. And we'll just use these. And there you go. Level 35. Another 16 million. All of these gold, all of those silvers. Let's go. Alright, so now I am more competitive. I have Pump Seed Staff at level 35. I have Shared Arch Amulet at 35. Um, my Uriel's Essence, I actually also want to level up. I have one at level 1. Yeah, honestly, I guess level 1 is fine for now. I can level it up later in a different video. Um, so for now, I think we're fine. I got Pump Seed Staff. I got Sherizar's Amulet leveled up. Um, and yeah, I, I'm still waiting for that Nabuline's Trap. I really want Nabuline's Trap. But I think we are good. Remember to lock your good relics. Honestly, I lock all of my relics. All of my diamonds. Um, let's make sure they're locked. Even if I don't plan on using it, like... There are some really bad diamonds, but even then, I still like to lock them. Um, the Max's Claw Trap. I wonder if that's one I should just... See, like, I have two of these Taiga Traps, and I'm not even a fan of Taiga's Trap, but I'm still going to lock it. Um, I guess I could use them. Yeah, I just... And all these Bolt Series Masks that I'm never going to use. Realistically, I should use my Fusion Material or Craft. Or Craft something. Um, same with these. Like, Nishin Sword, I should max out a Nishin Sword. I'd get a good amount of experience boost from that. Um, this one's level 30. I'm, I'm just curious. How much would those two Nishin Swords give me? Um, Nishin Sword, Nishin Sword, Nishin Sword. Where are you? Um, I wish there was a way to categorize by similar. Alright, so. Alright, let's see. We are gonna unlock it and select. <laughs> Only level 31, really? Yeah, I think at that point I'd rather use it to craft a different relic. So we're gonna block that out. Um, let's see if it wasn't Nishin Sword. How much would it give me? Barely level 31. Wow, yeah, not a fan of that. Alright, cool. So I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, definitely, I would say, here, let me lock this one. Actually, let's see. Let's level this up maybe a little bit. I'm not with oblations, though. All right, I guess I have to. Uh, let's see what we can do. Level, because level 20 would be good. Oh, you know what? I want to, I think these do permanent um, stamina decrease. Yeah, I kind of want to do something with Staff of Despair. So maybe I'll save those. Let me unselect those. Um... I don't care for the banners much. Unless it's charging banner. I do love the charging banner. Alright, let's select some of those. Let's deselect my oblation traps. I think level 20 is a good is a good spot. Yeah, level 20 is a good spot. Charging banner. Is any of these not charging banner? Which one is not charging banner? All charging banners. Wow, I got lucky with the charging banners. That's a lot of charging banners. Um, I feel like making another charging banner maxed out. So let's actually... We'll take Uriel's Essence this far. Yeah. I think we're good here, so we'll level up the this essence. So now at least I have a, a level 20 essence, or level 18. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, and then here, let's sort by gold, charging banner. Because I, I, I used to think I had two. Turned out I only had one, so let's level this up. Autofill, again, not, well, I guess just autofill, autofill, autofill. And then let's see, I can deselect. Again, even your leveled up relics, make sure to um, store those. Um, not any of these. And not this. Wait, what happened? Oh. <laughs> Alright, let me just manually select all these other charging banners. Because I do want to have um, another one maxed out. Or close to maxed out. Let's see how far I can get it. Ooh, and it's the same. You get, Like I said, you get double the experience. So already to level 30. I will 100% take that. Level up all charging banners. Ooh, I love it. Level up 
and yeah it's just um quick little level up and i think we shall end the video there this time for real so thank you guys so much for watching this relic level up video again this is the best time to level up your relics um those relic category chests they're awesome so um, definitely get yourself some i think it's the best investment in the game you know what i'm in a good mood because of what i pulled so let's go for the nabuline's trap again and see what i can pull or if not we'll just enjoy we'll end off with this um trap relic chest opening oblation trap pesty trap recharging trap spirits trap slow slowing trap exhausting trap and a punisher trap as well as the energy trap all right guys with that being said that is going to be it for this video thank you very much for watching and i will see you all next time Remember to subscribe.